Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are warned that the following video may contain images and voices of deceased persons. We acknowledge and pay respect to traditional owners past, present and future. Well, I work for a, for a person and we do uh, weed control. I kill willow trees and blackberry bushes along rivers, along the Snowy River, along all the rivers around here really. Um, I basically sit in my canoe and float, paddle down the river, down the river and kill blackberry bushes by spraying onto the bank. And um, yeah, I kill modern native trees. respects to the traditional owners of this land here. You're from Germany and um, yeah, land rights, Aboriginal flag first is the same colour as Germany, red, yellow and black. However, there is a difference. Black for, uh, for the Aboriginal flag means it represents black people, Aboriginal people. Red is for the blood that's been shed on this land and the colour of the land and um, yeah the yellow is the sun the giver of life that's what the Aboriginal flag is about and it's about time you know we're changing changing and it's uh, more and more more and more Aboriginal people are going to universities and are opening up their own businesses and it's only um, evolution that yes it is time for Aboriginal people to have destiny in their uh, in the universities, really, yeah, and uh, so I am. Uh, um, I am for um, Aboriginal people being uh, involved with the university uh, way of life, and um, yeah, getting qualifications. Not that you need a PhD to talk about your own land. You don't need a PhD. Yeah, PhD is there in the heart, and. You know, all the sciences and all that sort of thing, Aboriginal people already know that. So it's really uh, not uh, Aboriginal people that uh, haven't got it together, but they have got it together. And no matter what a protest is, whether it's the land or human rights, it's really important that we consult and uh, be uni uh, unified with Aboriginal people. Yes, next question. Now, do you want to answer? <laughs> Once you learn to trust, once Aboriginals learn to trust you, then that knowledge is open to you. Yes, but it's trust. If Aboriginal people have been here for thousands and thousands of years and their law is so complex, it's us, the outsiders really, that have to learn from Aboriginal people because their law goes way back and goes back into the future as well. love for each other. There's so much violence around, so much war around. We need to love each, each person more, how to care for each other, how to break down the men's, women's business and all that so we 
as uh, yeah, just to um, I don't know, accept more the um, transgender people as well. It's different now. Things are changing, and we must go with the flow and adapt really quickly, or else we're going to go down the toilet. Just got to adapt and accept, uh, unify as much as possible. Division is happening left, right, and centre, and you don't know whether you've got a friend or not. So, un un unification of all forms. Yeah. Not all elders uh, uh, preach or um, teach in a positive way. So it's a matter of an individual figuring out very, very carefully who is wise to uh, take the, uh, this generation forward. There's lots of people who play on being elders, but it doesn't mean necessarily that, yeah, just find out the love. There's love language. That's the most powerful thing in this, uh, in this universe that we have left. What would you say about a Prime Minister to be in charge of uh, indigenous for the whole country? Uh, I think it's impossible because white people don't understand the word sovereignty, Aboriginal sovereignty. Yeah, Aboriginal people must uh, control their destiny. And we as outsiders really have to learn the laws to survive because um, the way that they... Uh, this is fire country. It's the driest country continent in the, in the world. And this is fire country. This is how the trees... Uh, generate is through fire and it's uh, and Aboriginal people have been farming is it I don't know if that's the right word about burning off correctly so that they don't endanger the tribe and uh, you know they also uh, made homes and caves or the safe areas but uh, yeah it's only through the wisdom of land care through Aboriginal people more Aboriginal people should be employed to look after their land and ranges, you know, they call them ranges out in the desert. And uh, yeah, and um, but the apprentices that are non-Aboriginal people who want to learn too how to survive and uh, survive in the way of what to eat when we run out of the you know supermarkets gone fucked. And uh, yes, we've got to um, learn from the people of this land. Yeah. What do you think about the climate change at the moment? I mean, the, the debate that the children are going not to school and the parents not learning yet to perhaps do the same? Climate change has been happening from day naught, okay? And um, all this fear about emergency, it is an emergency, but Indigenous people have um, lived through many, many, many changes. My people from Hawaii, we got out of Hawaii because of overpopulation to get away from slavery, not enough food. That's why we have to move. And it's just in our, all of our, all of our um, essence really, we're movers. We've always been interested in the horizon and improving and to, to be, feel safe to bring up the kids and to the, you know, grandparents to be safe. It's just in our, nature, human nature. Yeah, I mean, people go on about, you know, different races and all that. There's only one race, and that's a human race. Get over it. Survival. This is the uh, concrete jungle, so we have to keep ourselves uh, hard soft. Not concrete. Out in the bush, yes, we've got the advantages of being near the trees and the hopefully rivers and all that sort of thing. But uh, there's a harshness of this land too. So um, it's always a, um, it's always a, um, yeah, a challenge. But it's good for your spirit too, challenges, yeah. And as for the Prime Minister, yes, sovereignty. Why people today, in the last ten, eight years, have been saying, our sovereign borders? Well, it's not the Liberal Party's sovereign borders at all. It's Aboriginal sovereign borders. And they don't recognise that word for Aboriginal sovereignty. Aboriginal uh, land always was and always will be. A 
lot of them do know how to survive and uh, it's just up to us to actually, yeah, be friend and trust and carry, carry that friendship forward. And, um, you know, Aboriginal people have been the most studied uh, race in the whole planet. So try and come from here and not just observe, you know. And, um, yeah, it's about self-improvement too. Yeah. How do I feel, Mother Earth? Well, that's really easy. Just breathe in, breathe in. Take your shoes off, walk the earth in bare feet. Go for a swim, enjoy what life has got to give to cure Mother Earth. Well, that's sort of the responsibility of all of us. And a lot of people do uh, believe in the media and say, oh, I've given up about the environment. But no, it's, uh, it's a duty. And it's the least we can do for Aboriginal people. People that have been on this land, uh, Aboriginal people have been seeing the genocide, the end of their tribal life, the end of their forests, and uh, the state of the, uh, say, the Murray-Darling Basin, that's come at a, at a, a cost that's um, detrimental to the future. So it's about turning it around, and I'm sure that we have got time to turn uh, all this around, to give hope to the young, to go forward, and uh, just keep loving the earth. We only get two mothers in our lifetime, right? Two mothers, our biological mother and Mother Earth. And if you can look after both, then you'll be a better person. Thanks. Kakite.